at Battle of Britain, mm. which was pretty famous for the big fights there. And can you um, sorry, can you elaborate on that? No, no, as in what? Like, what was the lead up like? Was it encouraged? Is there anything? I mean, the, no, I think and, the, and afterwards. Well, we went over there twice. Yeah. In the first year in '86, we went over there, and um, you know, it was the first time it happened. Yeah. And um, John Kennedy, you know, got us out training really hard. You know, we were three weeks after the season, we were all bloody, you know, just relaxing, and then all of a sudden he's getting us running around Elm Park Lake, you know, having three lap races of blokes are nearly falling in the lake, spewing up. <laughs> but um, that first game, we were pretty aggressive. I remember Shurfrat and John Dorotich at the start of the game, and we beat them, and that's how we got the money. And I think because we won the money, yeah. we won that game, Carlton had to invite us back, because oh, okay. they, they thought they were going to win, and then they would invite another club the next year. Yeah. So so we did that. So the next year when we played them, in our last game, we got beaten by Melbourne by 100, I think it was like it was something like 120 points. So and John Kennedy was fuming. So he said, right, we're going to use this Carlton game. To, to show people. It was our, our only opportunity to, to play until round one the next year. So he gave us this speech before the game and um, oh, I just thought, well, run you know, through brick walls, I'm going to have to do something here. Yeah. But the added thing for me was um, prior to that, the day before, I went out with um, uh, Andrew Demetrio as the CEO of the AFL. Now, I was rooming with Andrew and he was doing a, 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 a diary for a, lot, a football magazine. So we had to... Um, we had, to, we had to go and um, go, we had a local photographer who, who took some photos of us at the different um, tourist spots around, like the Tower yeah, alone and this yeah. and the other. So this photographer, this Pommy fellas, there was me, Andrew, Darren Harris and Jason Love. Mm -hmm. So we went out, um, took all the photos and at the end of it we said to the photographer, mate, can you, um, can you take us somewhere to get some pasta, you know, yeah. before the game? Yeah. So he goes, yeah, no worries. So he took us to this place, and it was a jumping sort of a joint. Yeah. So between Lovey and I, we said, look, you know, we might as well have a drink while we're here. <laughs> and not. before he knew it, we had a huge night. Yeah. Demetrio left, he wasn't drinking. Daniel Har da Darren Harris would have had a drink, but he was crook. Yeah. So uh, after, Ka after Kangaroo had given us that speech, and I went out in the ground when we did the warm-up, I was knackered. So... So when I thought, I've got to get into this game somehow, so Reese Jones took the mark and I whacked him and bang before you know the rest is history. Yeah, you know, like it was just yeah. on for young and old. Yeah. So there was a lead up to it, yeah. but that was fantastic and the trips we went overseas were great.